which is low today, and I mean low. How about three, the magic number? Tree pollens are low, grass, weeds, all low. Mold spores are low, but that's something I'm watching that may come up by the end of this week with all the rain that we have in the forecast. Live look at Hartsfield Jackson. At this time yesterday evening, we were starting to see some fog around the airport. Flew in last night, it was kind of foggy, and uh, it stayed foggy into this morning and then dreary for most of the day today. So certainly not a spectacular Monday in Atlanta. Temperatures still did make it up into the low to mid 60s. Much nicer though as you went to the north and east. Clouds are rolling back in this evening. It is mild out there. Temperatures are in the mid and upper 50s. As far as shower potential goes for tomorrow morning's commute, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to see a ton of rain, but a few stray showers are possible. You can see that wet weather, though, heading in our direction, and the chances of rain, they certainly do increase as the day goes on tomorrow. Sunrise, 7 o'clock in the morning. Of course, by this time next week, that sunrise will be closer to 8 o'clock in the morning, but that sunset will be nice and late uh, in the evening. A few showers possible for the morning commute. Mild start with the temperature in the 50s. Here's how Tuesday breaks down. Notice those rain chances going from 30% to 40% and then up and up. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s again tomorrow. And by later in the day, those rain chances between 60 and around 90%. And this is what the map may look like tomorrow afternoon. So school pickup, evening commute, much better chance of seeing some rain or at least rain coming and going during those hours. Into tomorrow night, you're going to watch some steadier and heavier rain come in. A couple of rumbles of thunder possible, but I don't expect any severe weather from this system. Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, still showing some wet weather. This right here, a worst case scenario for, uh, for Wednesday, and that would be rain lingering through midday. I think there's a reasonable chance it's going to end right after the morning commute, and then it'll be a little bit better on Wednesday afternoon. Breaking the action on Thursday. Look forward to that. Wait until you see the nice temperatures we'll have on Thursday. Friday during the day, it may be dry. We're still trying to time out that Friday-Saturday system. Right now, I'm leaning more to Friday night and into Saturday. We're hanging on to that first alert weather day for Friday just because of some of the uncertainty with that timing. So a flash flood risk for tomorrow into Wednesday is 5%. But notice for the second system coming our way, after the ground is kind of primed with the rain that we're going to get over the next couple of days, we have a 15% risk of seeing some flash flooding happen uh, with that storm system that comes in the Friday-Saturday time frame. 73 on Thursday. That is the pick of this seven-day forecast. I mentioned daylight saving time starting over the weekend, so we lose an hour of sleep. We have a decent Sunday, not super warm, high temperatures in the lower 60s, but a nice late sunset. And it looks nice on Monday, seasonable with a high near 62.